Hello and welcome back to another cookie tag video. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you on how you can make your own automatic uniform giver. So before we head into Roblox Studio and create our own version of this, I'm just going to hop into a game I've already created and put the script inside and just give you a quick example. So let's click the play button and then I'll just show you how this works before we make our very own version. So as you can see we load into the game and once we join, you can see this is not my normal avatar, we get this uniform. My normal avatar is this avatar, and you can see it's changed, and the costume has now changed to have this more formal view. And this is really good if you want to use this for your groups. So for example, you have a group and you want lower member staff ranks to automatically get this, you can do that. So now let's head back to studio, and let's create a brand new place plate, and I'll show you where you have to go from there. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. Let's create a brand new base play and then we'll type the script in from there. So keep in mind this may require a bit of setup, but this is really one of the more basic scripts. So first of all, we need to head over to server script service. Now we're going to have to click the add icon and then we're going to have to add a script. Now personally, I want to call this script a uniform giver. However, you can completely customize this. That is up to you. And now we're going to add a folder called uniform inside of that. And then we're going to go from there. So first of all, we need to import the players service. So to do this, we can say local players. So let's make the variable of players. And then let's say game get service players. So now we have the player service. We're going to define a few variables. So let's say local group ID equals zero and then local min rank id equals zero now we need to pick a group of our choice i'm going to be using the cookie tech group as an example however you can pick whatever group you'd like to use and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull it up on the screen here you can see here's the cookie tech group and now we need to make it so that when you're a certain rank in the game you get a uniform so to do this we need to first of all get the group id this is another number after group slash make sure you only include numerals and then let's copy this right click and copy let's close this tab and then let's paste in our id here now to get the min rank id it is super easy we can go back to our group we click on configure group let's head down to roles and let's say we want admin or above to get the uniform so this means if we copy the number three, any rank above the number three, so this is developer and owner, will get the uniform. And since I'm the owner of the group, I should get a uniform. So let's head over to admin and let's copy that ID. Right click and copy. And now let's head back and then let's paste in our min rank ID. Now we need to get the actual uniform we want to use. So. To do this, we need to head over to roblox.com. Now, I'm going to use a few items from the cookie text store. So, let's take the green Antarctica shirt. And then let's just look up um, Black Slacks, I think they're called. And then that should be inside of Avatar Shop. Let's just have a quick look. As Roblox has changed a lot of their avatar shop, this might be difficult to find. Let's see. Clothing, and it should be under classical pants. There we go, we got the black slacks. Once again, you can use any clothing you like. Make sure you find some pants and you find a shirt. And now let's get the black slacks. Let's double click to get the ID. Right click and copy. And now let's head back to Roblox Studio. And now we need to create a new shirt template. So to do this, we can click plus. Make sure you click the plus on the workspace. And then type in shirt, and you'll see right there. And just for the sake of it, we'll also import the pants. We'll click the plus, and we'll click the pants. And now since we got the pants ID, we're going to head over to clothing. And then we're going to find pants template. And we're going to paste in the ID. And you can see it'll add a URL before that, but don't worry about that. And now let's get the ID for our shirt. And to do this, we can head back to our tab, head back to the tab with the green Antarctica shirt. 
let's double click on that ID right click and copy and now let's paste it into the shirt template we need to give this clothing a name so let's call this with the shirt icon a shirt let's call the clothing with the pants symbol pants great now we're going to shift and then click on shirt so now you can see we're holding two of these and then we can drag them into the uniform and now we need to define these shirts and pants as variables so let's say that by local shirt equal script dot uniform dot shirt dot shirt template local pants equal script dot uniform dot pants dot pants template <laughs> now let's say players dot player added connect function player so when a player going when a player joins we're going to get the player that joined now we need to get the rank of the player so we're going to say local rank in group equals and then player get rank in group and now let's paste in group id and now this function will return the role of the player and now we can do this and then say if rank in group is bigger we'll use the bigger symbol or equal to minimum rank id then local player character equal player dot character and then we're going to say player character dot shirt dot shirt template equal shirt now be careful you type this wrong you can see I already made a small mistake and then let's say player character dot pants make sure you use make sure you use the capitals in the correct spot and then say dot pants template equal pants and now that's it that's our code all done and dusted and now let's just give it a quick test to make sure we have no errors let's click the play button and then let's wait for it to load up <laughs> okay we're loaded in and you can see we get the custom uniform we set so that's pretty cool thank you for watching if you have any questions that all or you encounter any bugs feel free to head over to our forums make a new post on the scripting support and uh, explain our issue and explain your issue thank you for tuning in that's all for me today and bye bye